What's going on guys? Today I'm going to show you how to pressurize your water port tank without using the hose or the pump and cap that or the cap that comes with the pump that you can use. Um, so you're out camping and you don't have either one of those. Um, if you have a air compressor or a bicycle pump or anything of that sort, this thing can hold up to 50 psi. They recommend only doing 40 if you're going to be having water in there for a while, holding air for a while. Um, but I, I'm going to show you how to go ahead and do that. Right now I filled up the water pretty close to the top. I'm going to go ahead and seal this. I want it as tight as possible. Just so you don't have to worry about any air leak. And you'll hear if it does start to leak. And then there's this cap here, which is normally a leader screw. That comes, it comes like this. Use this end to bleed it. And now you can see some water coming out. Take that off. You attach either your bicycle pump or your air compressor. And you get it nice and flush. And make sure it's tight. All right. In my case, I'm gonna use this. Right now you can see it has zero PSI. I'm gonna go ahead and add some pressure. <laughs> So now we're at 47 PSI, 46 and a half, 46, yeah. dropping, which means that there's probably some type of leak somewhere. But this for demonstration purposes anyway, so I'm just gonna go ahead and take this off now. Okay. Yeah, gotta try to take it off quickly so you don't lose pressure close this up move that guy out the way I'm gonna connect my hose make sure I turn this to the on position you saw that and now I'm going to move it over to jet to show you guys the difference Now we have pressurized water. This will last a good amount of time. I'm messing with it earlier. It worked out really well. But yeah, thanks for watching guys.